So I'm a little tired today, and I kind of brought this up with Patrice before the show, and then Patrice said that he's really tired today as well. <laughs> and your story is much more interesting than my my horse s. What? With the argument with the, are you allowed to go there? Or yeah, the, I could with go the chick there. and all yeah, that. Yeah, I could go there. I definitely could go there. Well, just tell people why you uh, why you're a little tired today. I, well, me and my. <laughs> I don't know if it's so fresh and it's so real too. Hey, I'll it's tell you so about, fresh. It's still fresh. It's fresh. Brand new stuff. Yeah, because you know I've been trying to. My my pickup line now is to any chick I go look. Me and my girlfriend uh, are not seeing anybody. <laughs> me and my, that me is and, an interesting way to put it. Me and my girlfriend. Just the open line. Me mm -hmm. and my girlfriend are single. And what I'm trying to do, I'm just trying to stay. Uh, if this even sounds right, faithful. Mm-hmm. By like, look, she she's into that. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm just trying to. I'm. What I did is like, what happens is anybody out there who's trying to get into threesomes, the 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 protocol is that your girlfriend or your wife, it, she solicits women, mm -hmm. and if y'all want to do a little train thing with your wife, you solicit the guys. What's happening is when when she's soliciting the women, she's realizing how dumb women are. Like how, like she's a trooper. <laughs> but she goes and goes, I want to, other women must be like me. And women treat her like they treat a dude. Like, hey, how you doing? She's like, hey, I'm pretty. And would you like to? And they go, oh, no, I don't. And she realized. And you like, would think it would be easy because she's a girl. Well, she's a girl. Yeah. And she's starting to realize how annoying women are in terms of se sex. So basically, I met a chick like five months ago mm -hmm. and put the, put a little work in. Now, we only talked like three times. But the first time I met her, I'm like, hey, look. Um, why don't you come on with me and my girl? We're single. Blam. She's like, I can't. Uh. But she'll call me on the phone, and my girl got mad because she, why does this girl have your number? But I give my number out all the time. Like, when she, if a chick, I'm very accessible. If people know me, I'm really, a lot of people got my number. So it's mm -hmm. like I say, here, you need to call me. Call me and find out when I, when I, you know, work next. What happens is I then talk to this chick and I say, look, she finally gives in a little bit. I said, go to my girl's job and. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. There's go so many problems with this story already, man. <laughs> go to your girl's job. I said, look, go to my girl's job and just go in and meet her. Because I understand, like, if you wanted me to sleep with you and you had a boyfriend, and I'd be like, ugh, I don't know, some strange dude. I don't know. And then I would want to meet the dude and say, okay, this dude's cool. I will we'll knock your wife up. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. So, well, so I said to the girl, I said, you know, it'd be cool for you to go and, and, and see her down her job. My girl's a trooper. I called my girl to say, hey, look, somebody's coming down to check you out, you know, and, and you know, see if you like her. So it was it was on. She she almost got fired from a job because she went down and said she just went bananas. So we're arguing and, and trying to make sense of it all. And I'm telling her, look, if if we're going to do a threesome, which we want to, we can't keep buying hookers. We, <laughs> we're trying to find what I'm trying to do is big love. You seen that show? She, that's what she's afraid of. See, she likes the hookers because it's like, bam, beat it, whore. But I'm trying to get a square broad to be our girlfriend. And I'm like, look, mm -hmm. if I take you shopping, listen, baby, if I buy if I buy both of y'all panties, I'm going to buy you four and her two. You uh, know what I mean? Right. Just to keep. You're still a little better than, than she. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm going to keep. She's going to be. And I told her, I said, look, you, we're, you are our girlfriend. You, and when people ask you, do you have? A, a, you say, no, I don't have a boyfriend. I have a couple. And <laughs> you are treading on some dangerous ground. But by the end, logic wins, man. Because she she can't do it. Because she keeps playing around. Because she's frustrated about how dumb women are. And she thinks that since I set up the situation, that this opens up more for me to be uh, spending time with this girl. But I'm like, even if you bring a chick in. I could spend time with this girl. So finally, I end up telling her, look, I don't see other women. If I wanted to, first of all, <laughs> I sent the broad down there to you. Do you? Oh, well, of course. Then yeah. makes you the gentleman. Yeah. Makes <laughs> you the perfect yeah. gentleman in this yeah. whole thing. Oh, wow, well, it's all in the open. Minute. This is fine. Oh, right, man, listen to me, man. I sent the broad look, down there. I look, sent her we all, down. We all understand what you're saying, but we also understand why the girl's not going to accept what you're saying. What? I, be, my girl should be more understand. It's like we're a team. Look, the bottom line is your girl, you're getting 100% more girl. She's getting 
fifty percent less guy. Absolutely That's not. Right. That That's is right. just the way it works. And Absolutely four panties not. compared to two is at, not going to. By the way, not keep her happy. <laughs> by the way, at least fifty percent less guy. That's what the best she can do. That's not Normally, no. it's probably going to be twenty five, seventy five, seventy five to the new chick. You know what it is? <laughs> Me and her get a fifty percent more love for each other. And for each other. And our relationship gets 100%. So we're up 200%. Because <laughs> <'cause, laughs> I'm trying to. Me and her are like stock trades. Me and her going to love each other 50% more just because. Just because there's the someone else there. excitement and the thing. Right. And this girl gets 100% of a couple. This is our girlfriend, man. She's uh -huh. going to hang out. So you're looking for a longer term thing just a with the same yes. different girl. So, so instead of hookers or some one yes, night stand that, thing, yeah. you could call her up or she could call you and go, hey, let's you know go out and then we'll all let's go back. Go and or or th maybe they become friends. And the thing is, what if I like her? She says, what if I like her more than you? I'm like, what? Well, That'd would... be great. They both dumped you. That would make me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> both oh, just think, you know what? <laughs> you suck. It's it like, why are we it... with this guy? We love each <laughs> other. We love this each other, great. but then they'll just be walking yeah, around like two fruitcakes with their heads bobbling. They get no yeah. guidance. Yeah. I, it, it, <laughs> You're the runner. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, I know it's. It, I didn't expect to tell the story, but but, but, but oh man, I'm saying she thinks. I said, look, and this is to your girl, your girl. I, I don't. She. I don't get. So the problem. Is I can get another girl. I mm -hmm. if I feel like it. And there's nothing you can do about it. But the problem is... So protect she, yourself. So your girlfriend is mad that you were talking to this girl on the that, side, that even though I you were talking to her yes. on the side to set up the threesome. Yes. I and you feel like your girlfriend should understand that. Because two guys, right, if she was if she was in the vein, like because she's, she is a what girl. What do we all want to live in Patrice's world? I mean, Patrice's <laughs> world is just a special place. It's like, that it's, just it's like, way out. You got it. You need a passport to get there. It's yeah, far away. The, 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 is that or you need to live in Utah. You, know, <laughs> you got to take some or connecting some third world flights. country somewhere where you're the king. Get your shots. Oh, yeah. It's just so oh, far away. Oh, the only thing, <laughs> the only thing she was mad at is the idea that this girl would get attention uh -huh. beyond her. Like, yep. all of a sudden, I'm walking around with this girl. We're eating by ourselves. That isn't a viable concern of hers? It's, I, it, yes, but I'm, everything is a viable concern. And I'm telling her, have faith that it ain't going to be, because why, why would I send this girl down there to... to to, to exercise what the faith, the faith in the threesome? I send her to her. I said, go to see this girl. I love how he's putting so much it. credence in that. Oh, yeah, he gets yeah. so mad. Like, why doesn't this dumb broad understand this? Yeah, Patrice, yeah, do you understand? Does really? Does you, you sound exactly like Opie's parking lot story to everybody. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and I'm talking about stupid parking. <laughs> it, not, no one's agreeing with you. <laughs> I'm just, uh, well, we understand, but we also, <laughs> right. It is very similar to what I'm talking about. Look. All I want to do is get into parking He's lot B. He's justifying it by saying, "Look, <laughs> right. I sent you. I sent her over there. Yeah, you know. So, so the honesty is there. The uh, you're being very forthright with this. You could, you could just go out and cheat. I could just, I could, I could easily, easily, because this girl likes me, man. I could easily just go. I don't have a girlfriend, or uh, my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. week, she's on the way out." And I could just schmooze this girl, and and it's possible that we'll be. Don't you dead. understand? That's kind of gunboat diplomacy you're using there. You're holding that threat over your girl's head, like no. it's not so much an explanation of look what I could do. It's like look what I could do, but I'm not. No, no, no. It's she, there. No, the guns you know, at your head. The guns right. at your head. But I'm not gonna pull the trigger. Because, you know, I'm, I'm not invited. No, I'm not holding her hostage with that. I am not holding her hostage with that. What I'm saying is, why if me and, like, we're two people who are into, it's like Bonnie and Clyde, man. Me, we are into what we're into. Right. But it's like Bonnie breaks protocol, Clyde breaks protocol where he shoots the cop first. Mm -hmm. And she goes, I always want to shoot the cop first. But we're doing what we do. But this time I messed up by shooting first. <laughs> but we're both shooters, man. Yeah, we're right. both yeah, out yeah, to yeah. kill. Yeah, but you know what? You're wrong. Right. Because if you had just a girlfriend on the side, you wouldn't be having a threesome. You found a girl that wants to have another girl. You want three at one time or two at one time. You wouldn't yeah. get that with just a girlfriend.
What are you talking about? If you had just this new girl yeah. on the side, right. that wouldn't be a three. Oh, that's see, that's girlfriend. just another girl. You're, you're going lateral. No, 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 no. But you want to go off. No, no, wait a minute. Time out, Vinny. Time out, Mr. Family, everybody. <laughs> All right? <laughs> you kiss your wife in the mouth the same way you kissed her uh, 10 years ago? Yeah. No. Yes, I do. That's Shut up, I got you, so many kids. You liar. I'm no, spitting out kids every night. Let me tell months. you something. Nobody, kid, no matter how fine that girl is, you after a few years, man, you want a little strange. I'm a fat hog. I'm a mess <laughs> naked. I make me sick. And my new house got big mirrors. You're a mess and dressed. my girl should not be in the bed. She shouldn't be loving me this much. <laughs> All right, I, right. I, <laughs> I'm telling you, oh, man. Hold on. I'll save that rant for when we get back because we're late. Uh, to him. Stay right there because yeah. we're not done with this. I, By a long A bunch shot. of people calling up. The threesomes are a disaster. I, that's All, all women. It, it, no, it, that's a guy. All it, women. It's a disaster because... Wait, Bruce in PA says threesomes are a disaster. During Connecticut, some of us live just like Patrice. So oh, just hold that thought because we're a little late right now. It's the ONA virus spreading across America. We'll continue with this thing in just a bit. Oh, pal talkers heard it. We're trying to do something for XM. We're still waiting for the equipment to come in, but we're going to do a, a thing where we start recording the stuff that happens during the commercials and then playing that stuff back. Yeah, because sometimes things happen. Oh my God! It sucks that we had to take a break there, but Patrice O'Neill's in the middle. Great of idea too, man. He's in the middle of an amazing rant, and a lot of people are are saying that his rant is just like the rant I started with. <laughs> I'm talking about a dumb parking lot. He's talking about a relationship, but it's pretty similar. With uh, the, uh, trying to get a threesome together, mm -hmm. and it is the same thing. It's 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 personal entitlement. You feel entitled. But there's a difference, man. <laughs> the difference is this. All right. Here's Obi's like, hey, I can't get in this 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 stadium. This is making me sick. It should not be like this. I am angry about it. Mm -hmm. All right, Obi, what are you gonna do? Nothing. <laughs> but it should be better. Yeah. All right, Patrice, uh, I want to do threesomes. Preferably have two girlfriends. Mm -hmm. All right, or basically. One girlfriend and and we have a girlfriend. So your relationship has a girlfriend. Yes. You, you and your chick, your your girlfriend, yes. have a girlfriend. Have a girlfriend. All right. That's what I want. Mm -hmm. I am trying to make <laughs> strides <laughs> in doing that. I yeah. am trying to make it happen because I think that you're trying to park closer to the stadium. And the only <laughs> that's, that's I, all I, I see. I want parking. I want wants, parking space. He and, wants VIP parking. And your girl is at every single aisle waving you further from the stadium. <laughs> and you're trying to explain to her that you'll be happy if I'm closer to the stadium cuz I'll be happy because she's in the car with me and she's always going <laughs> she's riding with me so my happiness is happiness, man. A woman's a woman's happiness is not based on anything except for trying to figure out how to be happy. So if I'm happy and I have to cause her I have to bring happiness to it, I have to be happy so that I'm in this in this this mood All right, well, to give her this happiness, this, to to give her what she needs. So how does this come into a, another girl dropping because in and having sex with you too that makes me super happy <laughs> <laughs> super and i'll have enough happiness to give two women now so you're using the reagan's trickle down e economics trickle down man with with uh happiness trickle down man because a woman's happiness she just so not she doesn't know like what makes her happy she just okay you mm -hmm. women go from from place to place specific to specific me when me and my girl argue i always try to argue the context is she of even the entire thing but is is she uh -huh. allowed to argue with you absolutely oh it doesn't seem like it i got a big in mouth patrice's world but it seems like you me, shut your man, mouth and let me rule the whole place when i met her when i met her yeah uh -huh. okay i she, i had a few women okay she asked me, and I think I told you, that she asked me, how did she end up being my girl? And I said, because you hung around. You know, because you stayed in there. You hung in there. <laughs> oh, my God. And what, is, what it is, it's like karate class. And this is women. This relationship's a disaster. Karate oh, man. It's, it's like disaster. karate class, man. It's like you meet. Look, it, would you agree that men deal in numbers when it comes to relationships? When we have we have to go find women. We we can't sit around and wait for women to come to us. Right, we right. We have to actively go search. Yeah, them. you got to go so seek it's, and it's destroy. It's like having right. a human resources department. You may... <laughs> 
have the secretary you need, <laughs> but she might leave your ass without two weeks' notice. And see, you stuck. What, your company going to go out of business? So what happens is when I met my girl, I had six, about five or six girls that I had been. By the way, there's, there's actually people out there saying you're full of ass. Of course. I have, uh, we know Patrice for a long time. No, 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 no. He nah. lives by um, uh, different rules than no. most people. I know there's a few out there also saying I live just like Patrice, but in general, uh, no. uh, the average guy is not getting away with what Patrice is, no, 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 is, no, no, is no, doing no, no. with his relationships and his life. Do you, did you ever think that your girl, your current girlfriend, just wants you and that's it? She but does. She's, but she's playing these little games to keep you happy, hoping that maybe someday you're going to like give up on all this other crap and just settle down with her. Can I tell you what my girlfriend is? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to tell you what she is. Hi. She is a lesbian who is in love with me. Hmm. She hates men, but she loves me for whatever reason because I, I, was, I, I was the first dude to be into her without being sexual with her. We, she would hang out with me. I'd give her guide, and she would go, don't I look good in this? And I'm like, you, you look good, but you, you you do. But I would be honest. <laughs> you do. But I, oh, I would boy. be honest. Yeah. I, would, I would be That's honest convincing. with her uh -huh. where other guys would lie to her to sleep with her just mm -hmm. to get just to sleep and she'd be like well why i'm a cool chick i out I, I do anything i'm down i i don't play sex games with nobody but why did why is these dudes not making me their girl and i was telling her why and as i was doing that unfold she was falling in love with me and i was just being frivolous so once i realized she was in love i added her to the karate class <laughs> and she happened to be after i flip everybody right and they go i'm getting out of this class by the end of the thing there's two girls left and they're both black belts one loses and she's just like out of here. Yeah. So now I have a black belt and she has a black belt in my crap because I can't feed her. <laughs> so that's why I don't, I don't cheat on her because if I go out and I go talk to some girl I just met and I give her a white belt like lies. Hey, baby, some old easy white belt, yellow belt. Y yeah. I come back to my girl with white belt mentality. I come back to her. And she's like, I go, but you know, hi, yeah. And she goes, <laughs> she kicks me. In the face and goes, I've never been able to kick you in your face that easy. What, what you doing? Talking to a white belt? I got to stay focused with her. Because she has a black she belt in you. She has a black belt in me. She knows I'm not, like, I was going to say jiving her, but I ain't jiving her. I'm not playing games with her. And she's not doing this. for. She's a soldier, man. I went to Brazil with her. She's not doing this for me. Uh, she is definitely getting she enjoyment. She is a soldier. And... All right, there's the answer. I'm just asking. Okay, okay. Now, now I understand a little more about uh, right. about your relationship. But now that's Brazil, where you know you're paying for things. Now there's a hooker out there that likes me. She she didn't like her. I said, Are you out of your mind? You could have gave her a hundred dollars. She would have took it. And you could have smacked her around and made her and say, Yeah, you like my man? You whore. Smack upside the head. She didn't think like. Yeah, what's this? Got... Don't like stuff. You're paying. She did. She just. She, there was a chick. That just, she was my play girlfriend out there. Yeah. And she had more than just, I want your money. She was like, I probably want your money, and I, who's this? And my girl's like, who's this? Well, looking at you like, she like you like that. So she's getting into it with third world whores when they give her that vibe. But the ones, <laughs> the ones that don't give it, that's all she wants is not to be challenged, man. And she won't be. Let me ask you're you. You're bringing another girlfriend. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. L let me ask you. I was just going to say that. Now, this other girl comes in. Mm. Your girl uh, digs her because she's a lesbian that's in love with you. You love the situation because now you got the two chicks. But I got you, one chick. You are well. Well, well let me just I got say, one okay, chick you got and one we chick. We have one chick, and you have one chick. You don't right? Yeah, but, but she only gets two but, panties. The other one gets four. By your <laughs> by your logic, by your My logic. My girl gets four. I'm sorry. By your logic, <laughs> you are so fantastic that this girl is going to have to fall in love with you. Because you are a master of women. You will understand this girl. You here's will start the, treating here's her. Here's the trickle she down. She will fall in love with you. It can't be two queens, Anthony. There's one queen. <laughs> so are you going to have them duke it no, out? No, my girl. <laughs> Death match. My girl will guide her through. Like, okay, I love my nipples licked. Right? Uh, oh, All right. Uh, now. <laughs> damn it. That's just that ugly. We image. was in Brazil. <laughs> And Go back my, to talking about my, parking lot. Wait a minute, though. <laughs> we was in, my girl's looking at nipple, and there's, there's another, there's, there's a hooker looking at the other nipple, right? Uh -huh. And my girl looks at the other, the hooker and go, taps her on the top of her head and goes, <laughs> to let her know that he likes. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. So what'll happen is if we find us a girlfriend, my girl will trickle down what I like 
to her. I'm not going to have that much access. So to you're not even going to. It's going to be all filtered through your chick. She's going to have your wants, needs, daughter. everything else. <laughs> filtered you, through your chick. Filtered to your your two Absolutely. the new chick. Yeah. And that way you don't have much contact with her, so she can't fall in love with you. But she will. No, to do your bidding through your real chick. Yeah, Patrice's main girlfriend will be oh. like the manager, and then the girl will be like, right. oh, oh, worker yeah. bee, and she can tell her what's Yeah, going. yeah. And you then Patrice can fire her through that manager. You're <laughs> yeah. out of here. You need a reality <laughs> show, man. <laughs> oh, they hell yeah. Your, your people should be freaking... Are they crazy not having Patrice on a reality show? They should show? be like yeah, pushing a reality show, Patrice O'Neill and, and his chick. That would be a reality show I Damn. would watch. I pitched it. Because there's some honesty there. <laughs> I went to Comedy Central, pitched it, and my girl came to the thing, and they looked at me like she came in wow. and looked at me like y'all would look at me. You know, when, when I'm talking, yeah. and I go, look, I go, look, the show is going to be me, God and women, right? But I have a girlfriend, and all I'm doing is trying to find a woman that might, this could be my girlfriend if I was looking for one. <laughs> go to VH1. I think go you to, go to VH1 a hustler or Playboy yeah. Matt, Playboy TV. You can't go to Comedy Central. Go to VH1. Yeah, because this is so, no joke. This is just all right. Very serious. So this started with Patrice saying that you didn't get much sleep because you had the argument with your girlfriend because she found out you were talking to another girl, but you were talking to this other girl to bring her as a new girlfriend, yes. but not as important as the main girlfriend. She only no. gets two pairs of panties. Your girlfriend that you love gets four. She's right. Always better. So how did it end? We had the one of the best sessions we've ever had. Oh, it ended she with She walked just... to the bathroom limping. She crawled to the bathroom. We had one of the best sessions we've ever had. When she gets tired, because I never get tired of arguing, and she got tired, and she's when she when I when there's logic involved, because she she feels how she feels, and so she was just saying, look, I feel how I feel. I'm I don't want you, you know, you hanging out the perception that this this some other girl and oh and I look like a fool and this that and the third. And then I, I'm like, look, it's not going to happen. The, my lo my logic was, why would I why would I bring her? It's too easy. I'm just telling her, it's too easy to cheat. It's too easy to cheat. I'm not I'm not I'm f and, and I'm I'm not a, a, a nice guy with that, that particular situation. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'll get a little side, but I got a girl that I'm I'm I don't want to hurt. Losing her is 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 important enough, but still. I'm, if I'm going to sacrifice the fact that I like to go get strange, you'd rather just have it all right on the table. Yeah. This is what I'm going to do, so I need this from you. Yes, but I got lucky and found a, a soldier. What the hell does she see in you? I'm a trooper, man. I, I don't. What man, the she's hell free. does she see in you? She is a free. She's free, man. She's a she's a free woman. She's a lesbian, she, basically. So babe, she doesn't she doesn't kinda, like guys. She but she loves you. She loves me. Why? Because your honesty. Because I'm. Uh, because you take care of her bills. Because you, no one you buy guides nice things. Like every other woman who falls in love with me, I guide them. I don't leave them hanging. All right. I told her if if we break up, man, some lucky man's gonna get a good woman. <laughs> <laughs> some of you dudes out there, if if I go with, if you break up with your girl, I gotta get a maniac that I gotta fix. All right, and now let's get back to now let's get back to what you said uh, about Vinny. Fix. You said something else there that you don't kiss. Yeah, the, I, no one. Look, man, uh, my girl is lovely. Vinny's wife is lovely. Everybody got lovely women, man. And after a few years. The, you cannot. It's it's scientifically impossible for you to kiss your Science wife. Science is being brought in now. I, I, I read a book. <laughs> yeah. No, it's I, scientifically I, impossible to kiss your woman with a, with that same. I just met you passion. If you've been with her for a few years, so you gotta find ways to jack it up. See, you got a family, Vinny, which which kind of gives you that obligatory kind of. You know, I'm a. You're a dad. You know, you're a family man. But you kiss your mom, your wife, like, like you just met her. Don't lie, Vinny. Well, you understand with kids, I can't kiss her that often. So you're wrong. I, when I get to kiss her, it's fun. Did you hear that? Did you hear? Yeah, because did you hear the roller there. skating he did? Yeah. Well, I have kids. Yeah, yeah, I mean, shut up, Vinny. You don't understand that because <laughs> you're not. Fun. There's something disconnected in you. You're not a normal human being. Yeah, that's that why you, we love it, him. It, we love you. No, I, we I, love I, the Patrice. Yeah, Vinny. <laughs> no, listen, you're not normal. You, people don't like you. 
<laughs> when they meet you, because mm-hmm. you're not normal. You're but very, you like me, Vinny. I love you. You, you like, like me like why, you though, you. when you met me. Yeah. You know why? Because yeah, it wasn't status out. quo. It's like you meet some some little intern in the elevator over at the Viacom building. Hello, how's your morning? How's it? Shut up. <laughs> it's 6 in the morning. Why? Why? Because you, uh, you are raping me with your niceness. Why is my bitterness in the morning so bad? Why is my bitterness love the different bitterness. from yeah. your... From your hey, sub, subjugate, yeah. subjugate me with your fake. How you doing? I listen. I don't. I'm, I, you lost me somewhere. No, because because saying... you want to go. Hello, how are you? This good morning. Da, 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 and that's that's status quo. <laughs> but I met you and said, look at you, you. So you're short saying because I... idiot, and you go. Err. But but you, that's what kind of guy you really are, Vinny. You're a guy who who gives people. You mess with people all the time. And 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 you go. Wait a minute. You had to get used to the fact like that we didn't go through the social contract. And I'm and I'm all I'm trying to do. This is what I'm trying to do, Opie. I'm trying to eliminate the social filter and go from this is how I feel to saying it. And sometimes it still gets blocked and choked in to the, the contract. Please. But yeah. I just want to come up. You're and not say, gonna get an argument from me. You know, we wanna, relate on that level. Right. I just want to say that. what I feel like saying. And if if my girl asks me. You know, you just want to be be with two women and make them two women your girlfriend. I go, yeah. <laughs> well, yes, that's how I feel. All right. Wow. You were asking me about the dumb parking lot. What's the solution? So, what's the solution to keeping like the passion going in a relationship? I think it's possible, actually. I really do. Uh, you tell me. Uh, so far, I'm beyond happy. Two years like, in, so I mean, you no, know, I, you know, so I'm not at that point. I mean, Vinny's trying to say, ten, how many years? Twelve years. This Twelve is, years later, that it's it's exactly the same. The kissing. This is this is what I do. Like the other day. Now look, you're gonna fucking jump. No, I'm not. Just listen, listen to him and watch watch this unravel. No, All right. You're gonna jump over me because you're gonna say. The other day I got up, I sent my wife flowers just to send her flowers. That keeps her happy. That makes her happy. She got the flowers. Why'd you do that? Because I love you. That's why. That's how. I, that's protocol. You know, you gotta court your protocol. wife. Protocol. All you have to do, Opie, you gotta court your wife. You gotta look. I take care of myself. I keep myself in good shape. Yeah. That's how I keep it fresh. You court. Well, we'll exactly. Go, it's not boring. <laughs> it's easy to court your Man, wife. Man, no, Seven million dollar wow, house, Vinny. Wow, you're really. <laughs> it's wow. easy when you're living in a house. Where my you God! Can, you where gave, you can ride around wow. in the everyone. house, you have a you have a roller coaster <laughs> right. in your so house, happy. Vinny. <laughs> wow! You so just happy. you just gave all the guys out there a blueprint to keep uh, their relationships going, Give Vinny. Your wife wow. Flowers, flowers, you know, flowers. You know how that's you, hacky after a while. I mean, sure, flowers yeah, are good, flowers. but you got to do not, a little more than flowers. It's not just flowers. You just give her a credit card, tell her to spend the money. You go fake take, take exactly. vacation. Exactly. That's right. what you do. You can't get in a relationship and what, get bored. <laughs> what happens, Vinny? Right. When when the money if the money runs flat man you ain't got no guidance you gotta work you don't see you don't need guidance because you got you you have enough money to to j- that's that's the guidance you can buy her stuff you can send her on her on, on her cruises you can do all that stuff but where's the guidance where's where's you have to constantly figure out ways to buy her new stuff oh no, Vinny, thank you stuff. for a new this is a diamond yeah, washing buying, machine. Oh, Thank no. you, Vincent. You're, you're the same thing. Four <laughs> panties, two panties. You're buying. You said the same no, thing. No, no. You got to keep her happy. I don't. I don't keep her happy with buy. I keep her happy with guidance because you what know what? Of guidance. Here's what it is. Once hey, your here's girl. Here's your guidance. I'm bringing another here's, girl. Here's, here's your hunt. Train her how to lick my nipples. And, that's and, a and you don't think that's people. exciting that's, for her? That's not to train guidance. another broad? You you're gonna mess up. You're gonna lose that girl because you're trying to have two girlfriends. You're gonna blow it off. And and here's the reason. Uh, Here's a, the reason I'm not going to lose her because I'm trying to have two girlfriends. I'm not trying to have one each. You'll get I'm four trying to have two, two, and then you'll he's need three. trying to have a girlfriend for his relationship. That can, he's I, in. can I speak for Patrice? I think I know him. If he loses his girlfriend because she's not into the girlfriend with another girlfriend thing, right? Mm-hmm. Four, four panties, two panties. So the, <laughs> yeah. so the other girlfriend's not as good as the main girlfriend, yeah, yeah. and the main girlfriend leaves because of all this. In, in Patrice's world, he's going to go, you know what? She wasn't worthy of this anyway. She, I'm the back dojo, out there. The dojo opens back, back up. That's right. I'm back out there. And he trains another black belt. In his mind, he believes this is how he wants to live, and he also believes that he's going to make it happen, whether it's with this one that he's currently with or with someone that uh, he hasn't even met yet. So to answer your question, Vinny, if he does lose that girlfriend, he doesn't, he doesn't care in the end. Oh, I don't think Patrice cares. He doesn't care in the end. Yeah, I don't think he cares at all. He's going to go, you know what? I don't think he cares cares about anything. anything. But I do, I, I love my girl, man. She, I love my girl. I tell her, look, man, I, look, I love my girl. 
I right. watch too much Maury Povich, right? <laughs> I love my girl yeah. 90% because I need 10% to, to think that she is garbage, meaning that she could cheat on me. She could do something foul to me. But I give her 90% of my love. I need 10% for me to function mm -hmm. <laughs> so I can look through my files and human resources and get me some more secretaries, get me some more candidates. And it's not going to be easy, but I'm going to supplement. See, That's my your insurance policy. My girlfriend fills up. 90% of me, 90%, okay? Maybe 80% because I'm trying to muscle another chicken. <laughs> so she fills me up 80%. Uh -huh. That means you figure <laughs> Keeps if going it was down. 10 women, 10 <laughs> women, go down. it would take eight <laughs> women, eight women to fill up the space sheet. So I would actively go out and find eight women to fill the void. But you love this girl. Woman. I love my girl. Uh, let me ask you something. You love her. She yeah. comes to you tomorrow and says, look, Patrice, I love you too. I can't have a girlfriend for our relationship. I say, fine. And if you want to talk to her, I've said it to her. I said, sweetie, last night I said, look, man, you can, let me tell you what a trooper she is. All right. I said, look, and you think this is reverse psychology, but then no. I said, look, I don't want no trouble. Just, I, we, we cancel this, man. I'm sorry. I, I went out, I was out of, and she said, no, 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 no. I'm just saying. She wants a piece of this girl. She saw her. She was a hot mama. Little Amazon, six feet, nice booty. And Patrice My girl almost has it all figured out. But, you almost have this puzzle figured out. But there's some pieces that gotta be put, like, rearranged. Well, but, is that it? But Patrice's main girlfriend is more lesbian than straight, and that's what's yeah. making this whole thing kind of work. That's kind of making it it's, work. It's, he, Patrice almost has this puzzle figured out completely. Almost. You're almost there. Would you accept a show on XM where it's you and your chick trying to find a third girl? Did you? Uh, I, I mean, uh, yeah, another girl in the relationship? Uh, no, because they'll just come out the woodworks, man. It's, it's the, the hunt. Would, it's it, yeah, it's see, the manipulation. He doesn't want to, uh, uh, like, fish in a barrel. He's got to go I out. got to find a he trooper. Like, he likes the game. It's yeah. the game. Yeah. Finding a trooper, man, is exciting. That's I the was, game for him. All right, listen, we got to get one person that agrees with Vinny. There's one out there. James in Oklahoma. One. James. What's going on, guys? Hey. I've been married 17 years, got four kids, still have sex three, four times a week. Oh, he's really I'm selling his right. life. Listen to him. <laughs> he sounds like there's a razor blade to his throat right now. <laughs> you listen to you, man. Let me tell you, let me copy how you sound. We've been doing this radio show a really long time. I can tell you what's going on right now. His wife is in the passenger seat. You call him. You call him. You know you're happy. It's been 17 years. You get on the phone and defend our long relationship. I love the show, but this isn't necessarily the show you should gauge relationships on. Oh, we had a big fight three days ago. All right. Well, I'm... Thank you. I'm telling you, it man. Comes, it comes and it goes, man. We have seen that, though, where all of a sudden a guy will call up and like, hey, that's pretty cool. And then you find out that his wife's yeah. going to work with him. or You, you know, they call that together. show because we've been together, and I want people to know that you could be together for 17 years and it could still be allowed to. This yeah, is the radio gosh. show you listen to? Well, you call them right now. He's calling from his <laughs> minivan <laughs> right. with his car seats in the back. <laughs> and, <laughs> sir, sir, if you're in the car listening, what, <laughs> two things you ask yourself. If she left you, what would you really miss? <laughs> oh, my Jesus. <laughs> and two. If you told her how it was, where would she go? And what would she do? She can't get another you. You can get another her easy. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm talking about. You're not a normal person. Wow. That's I not normal. love this if your guy. Woman, if your woman left you, uh, Vinny, she could not find another dude to take uh, uh, to, with another uh, beauty. Vinny, I haven't been to your house. Vinny has the the best house I've ever Seen really nice. in my entire yeah. life. Me personally, I mean, I haven't been. To, uh, all right. But, but, yeah, we got to take a break. Can can she find another you easier than you can find another her? You tell me that. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Listen, she's listening. Yes, she could. <laughs> <laughs> all right, with that, it's the only virus spreading across America. Hope he's got his mouth full, and we're all laughing here. Wow. Man, I. It's just, it doesn't stop during the breaks. Uh, Patrice just keeps going on and on just with all this knowledge and wisdom of relationships <laughs> that is from the planet Krypton because it do, it's nothing that can work here on, on Earth. If for some reason, I think it's our oxygen-nitrogen atmosphere that, that just screws this whole th plan of yours up. Maybe you got to go to, like, Venus because... You are just talking fantasy world. It can happen. Whatever you're talking about, let me There's tell you. There's somebody out there living it but more Trace, than I want no. to. Whatever you're talking about is possible. It can happen. Mm -hmm.
but it's the, the the after effect, the repercussions, these things. You're making it sound like you do this, and then it follows up with this. No, you do this. It's like, all right, we got to clear out a spot here to build a house on. So let me nuke it, and then I'm going to build a house without thinking it's going to be irradiated for eight thousand years. You're like, what? Well, it, it cleared the ground, and now I, it's clear. When you no. look at it like that, you get, <laughs> that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. You, you, like your plan is good up until the repercussion point. Well, we just asked you're, the repercussions. You're, you're you're kind of assuming too much on you're planning too much on what this girl that you're bringing in is going to be all about. Don't forget one basic thing that I am not putting on her to know anything. I am guiding. The, right. I am driving. But you, you're not going to get an her. empty vessel. So what will happen is she she has she has two choices. Mm -hmm. She she ride or she gets out. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was saying earlier. Well, we asked a question during the break uh, about your. Can we say? Go ahead, man. I don't know what you want to, to air or not. It's fine, man. But it's basically, like, you know, your girl. I, I'm not gonna say a name. You know what I'm saying? But she's she's a good girl. You know yeah, basically, a girl. Uh, we asked if uh, your girl's been with another dude and if that bothers you. And then <laughs> you said what? Uh, she, we I've seen her pop another dude. Yeah. I've seen her with another guy. We went to a swing joint, and I was because of what I wanted to do. I had to. There was no logic. It was just been, it would have just been pure hypocritical mm -hmm. to say you can't sleep with another dude. I didn't even want to put that in my head to say that. So I said, okay, we're gonna do this. And what happened is the dude. Um, what happens is when you swapping, you know, when you swinging, you know, you go in. He goes in with his girl, and I go in with my girl. We go and we start with each other. Mm -hmm. Get the sex vibe going. And we kind of, you know, switch, you know, trade up, switch up, and and <laughs> he was very uh, gentle with my girl. Very, she liked him. No funny, no strange fingers, no weird <laughs> action. And she, she, to she nailed him like a soldier. <laughs> Like he God. was very good to her, and I was very good to his girl. <laughs> All right. Hey, when you're in these situations, All right, now yeah. I, I'm thinking, like, what is it? You just sitting, standing there watching? When they're in these situations, and people look at you and go, damn, that's Patrice O'Neill from Web Junk. <laughs> Do you get recognized in those situations? Whatever. Like, most people that watch Web I mean, look, most of the people, that, my fans are, are, are more the fans of this show. And my fans, like from HBO, some of them web mm -hmm. junk. Web junk people are, are like the little kids and the teenagers. Yeah. But a lot of those college boys, they crazy, man. And and they just know me. I'm honest, man. That's why I got web junk. It's like they just, it's just, I'm I'm trying to be honest, as honest as I can. Well, somebody you absolutely might, are. I'll give you that much. Call me out, and I might have lied about some. Some might have, uh, you know. I got these girls out there that mush my heart. Couple when I was young, and you just learn. You live and you learn. And my it happiness, must have been I just want to be happy. a hell of a mushing. What's wrong with it, some happiness? It must have been a hell of a mushing because you have gone like in a wacky direction, Patrice. All right, let's go to... Uh, <laughs> nothing wrong with your happiness. <laughs> yeah, let's go to Jerry in Connecticut. Jerry. Hey, boys, what's up? Hey. Is yeah, this we... my boy? Je Patrice. Hey, man. What's up, man? This guy's a trooper when I was doing a Black Phillip. They this is my boy. You oh. know this guy? He's my. He's on my top eight. Never took him off because uh, he's a. So he's living it. Tell him, Jerry. Listen, boys. I've been living. I've been married for ten years. Mm -hmm. Two kids, Oof. and I got a girlfriend living in the house for the last nine years. Mm. There you go. What? Nine years. Vinny, yeah. you got a, a ten thousand square foot house. You can't got, have another girlfriend in there running around. I think you might find her eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? I keep seeing that girl. <laughs> yeah. Just a fleeting glimpse down a hallway somewhere, a long corridor. This guy's a soldier, man. She live upstairs like um the the what's the dude the thing from uh, Pulp Fiction? Um The Gimp. The Gimp. She upstairs. They don't. Him and his wife. I remember the whole thing. Him and his wife. The, the girl and, and the wife have a little thing going. He doesn't care that they mess around. Uh, you know him. why this works? Why? Let me tell you why this works. Because Jerry is like one step away from serial killer. Like oh. it, it's no, got to no, be. A, he's a black guy. We don't serial kill. Well, well. Let me. I'm the mentality is that of a serial killer. Like how can you say that? Because it's so out there. He's got a kept woman in the attic. No, she's not kept. 
they know each other. They hang out together. They watch movies together. <laughs> Thank you, they Jerry. go shopping together. Th th uh, you like, uh, like a Mormon. Four panties and two, baby. You're like a Mormon than th in the old days. No, he's happy. Happy. Very happy. How does a fight happen in that house? Like, in other words, does you ever get, like, two girls, they ever argue with you, the two of them? Team up, ones? double the bitching? Gotta. Well, yeah, but I straighten that out. Uh, uh, he is, he's got the serial, that that comment, I straighten that out. I, why why is that a attic. serial killer, man? Why? It's just some kind of weird mentality. Why? No, I, I'm exactly exactly what Patrice is saying is exactly the way it is. It just doesn't seem to. I train both of them. I talk both. <laughs> I train them. See, <laughs> training. It's this. He's raising a good bitch. <laughs> he's you know raising what? his girl. And you know what? Neither one of them would leave if I asked them to. Why did you marry the one? Did you did you know the other one before you got married? I did know her, but we weren't sexually in involved. And then after one year of marriage, you got this girl moved into your house. Well, we had we started having sex first, so probably two years or so in the house. Just you and her, or you, her, and the wife? Uh, me and the wife were living together. We started having sex with my girlfriend, and then within two or three years. She moved into the house. Delicious. That's my plan, too. I just got a house myself, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> it has a nice attic. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. And does she All come right. to you and say, like, I need money for, you know, th th something or no, we just, clothes? Or no, we just started living together, and I started taking care of her. I bought her a new car. I bought her... What is the third? What does the third person get out of this? That's what I don't get. A new she, car. I can see what you get. I can a see. New car. I can see what the wife gets. But what the girl, you know, in the attic with the she chain gets, around her ankle. What does some, she get? She in gets the a end? fulfillment, man, she that she's not going to get. He he's but he does, has enough she gonna, guidance to to lead two women. He can guide these women to something that they that that verily viral feeling that they don't understand. If you ask them why. They love Jerry. They won't be able to tell you because there's some kind of weird nature happening. You don't think she's yeah. waiting for the wife to, like, die or oh, yeah. something? yeah, after 10 years, of yeah, course. Yeah, she's been slowly poisoning like <laughs> like flowers in the attic. She's been giving him arsenic in the cookies. <laughs> and she, 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 he's a trooper. Why can't you understand that? I'm trying to understand this. I can't understand it. I mean, I mean does this, do you have kids? Yeah. You have kids? And you got kids. What do they call her? Aunt, what's her name? <laughs> Aunt Whore? Aunt Whore. <laughs> uh, what, Jerry? They just call her by her regular name. Yeah. And what are you, how old are your kids? Um, one's 11 and one is 7. All right, and what do they think about this relationship? She's what are they nanny. being told? She's the nanny. <laughs> no, it's perfectly normal to them. They don't... Wait, wait, it's perfectly normal. How much do they know about this relationship? They. I've had my kids go... Uh-oh. Is that your new girlfriend when I have a girl come over the house? Who goes to back to school night? <laughs> yeah, who goes to the PTA <laughs> meeting? Look at Benny. That's all he cares about. <laughs> I can't understand he, that. He can't wrap his. You do, you do he, understand it. He can't I wrap know, his oh, arms no, around I, this. In any Jerry, way. man, I'm sorry. I left us. I, I left us hanging. One of these days, we're gonna. So who does the laundry? Up. And uh, if I bring flowers home, who gets what? <laughs> yeah, are there are there shared duties? <laughs> Dude, Jerry, do they? And Jerry's not a. Jerry uh, doesn't. It's not like, hey, baby. Uh, and then if they get out of line, I'm gonna smack him in the top yeah. of the chops. I don't. I never touch my girl. I'm threatening my no. girl, man. None of that, man. It's no. a guidance. It's a thing. It's it's tapping into this thing where she's <sighs> just looking at you, man. Like, look, this is so sexy. I've seen look. I've seen TV shows about uh, uh, Mormons and people that are into polygamy and stuff like that, and the women. Are always a little screwy in the head. Stepford. They, which they, well, I'm sorry. Yeah, they're like which, I'm sorry, Which woman do you know? That's not screwy in the head. I'm no, in a, in a different way. I'm talking. They're a little like like way out there. Uh, a little screwy in the head as far as like their their relationship with the man mm -hmm. is very submissive, very submissive, and they have a relationship with each other like almost sisterly. Mm -hmm. And uh, Patrice isn't saying <laughs> yeah. anything wrong. He's, yeah. he's like, oh, no, yeah, he's and this is great. <laughs> so they're not actual. They're not real women. They're they're mm. they're the puppets. They're they're Stepford wives. Yeah, why? They're, why? Because it's two of them. 
So if he yeah, did, because if he they, did the same thing with his you're one You're not wife, getting a loving relationship from... It, are you loving, Jerry? Uh, he's, uh, he's on hold because I wanted to go to Joe. You're not okay. getting a real loving relationship. You're getting sex from two different women. How do you, you know get, what you're getting? Have you ever done it? How do I know? Wait a minute, Anthony. Have you ever done it? You is it now... For what I, I pay about, through the nose every three months because of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I got divorced? I'm saying, but <laughs> did you experience any of this action with your old wife? Did you find out if did this is wrong? Did I just explain everything? Do you think I'm talking out my ass no, about I'm this saying, whole thing? Did you do I am so experienced. That, of course I did. All right. So I know happened? everything. What happened? What happened? I write huge checks every three months. You got divorced because of a threesome? That was part of it. That was the straw that broke. That was the straw that broke the camel's was back. The was it? Yeah, that, right, was, was that was the straw that broke the camel's back. There was a lot going on. Joe in Jersey. <laughs> that was the one where, when the questioning came about in the courtroom, and I would watch the news and the post reporters there. I said, "Let's go in the back and settle this <laughs> immediately." Uh, Joe, what's up? <laughs> Uh, I just want to say, Patrice sounds exactly like every cult leader I've ever heard. Yeah, cult leader, yes. that's what I'm... I'm sorry I said serial killer. I meant cult leader. That is absolutely... Uh, bravo, yes. sir. Sounds like cult you. leader. You're a cult leader. <laughs> <laughs> he's got nothing to say. He's been found out. Look at him. Wow. Oh, he's, that's I'm right. I'm a, he's proud I'm of that, though. Because yeah, once, yeah, he, yeah, once, he, once he swings two, do you think it's going to stop? That's right. The hunt is going to go, go like, stop there. He's going to then go, you know, if I could get three girls. And I got some one poison girl. Kool-Aid waiting for him right now. <laughs> <laughs> the FBI is going to be lobbing grenades <laughs> through your window. No, they're not. They're going to be joining me for dinner. Come on in. Come on. Come on in, Lieutenant. Have a little. <laughs> Piece Doesn't here. seem to be hoarding weapons. He's hoarding bitches. <laughs> <laughs> is there a law against this? Officer, put that down. Come on in. <laughs> Let's go to Edward in Queens. Edward, <laughs> you want to have her over there? Go ahead. <laughs> Edward, parking lot uh, Y. I can't believe it. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, it all started with parking lot Y, by the way. Let's, let's remember that. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, Edward, what's up? Yeah, what's up, gentlemen? What's up, man? Yo, Patrice, um, I've been married for about nearly six years now. I love this woman to death, but I want to get away from her now. Yeah, and I you know what? And you know what will want will keep you from not get because you don't <clears throat> you're not sexually like explosive towards her no more. And so now you're figuring that it's it's getting bad because you're not sexually feeling the way you used to. That's because innately we need look. God don't make mistakes. There's five or ten women born to every one guy because God knows we will sleep with five or ten women to keep this world going. All you got to do, man, is talk to her and say, look, I just need. Here's what you go to a swing club, go to La Trapeze, man, right? And let me tell you <laughs> what it'll do. La Trapeze, where's that? It's, I don't know where it is, but it's you just look it up. It's very, it's not <laughs> one of those, fine. it's, it's a, not get, one of those things where, on you, where you knock and say, Joe sent me. You keep going. <laughs> and here's the thing, dude, let me tell you what you need to do. Patrice, you need to watch another guy want your woman, and you will be excited again. And she needs to watch another woman want you and y'all will want each other again it will be it will last a, a extra five more years of excitement because y'all because you're living this this married life of what you're supposed to be living if you go wait, wait, out wait, 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 and you find strange guys that want to pop your wife that you're can't be, be like done. Ooh, i want i want her can't Patrice, be, that can't be done like a you're mall? talking about one can't extreme that be done right a mall? right yeah, can't that be done around that, uh, her you, looking real good walking around and guys right, look right. at her no no, because it's going to be filtered from the other guys. You got to take us someplace where the protocol is some dude in a towel and a, and his <laughs> and his chick with her breasts hanging out. Say, listen, let's. I, I, your girl is gorgeous, and you go, yours is too. And y'all go in a room and you watch some other dude want your woman. Well, it's a little further than want. He's getting. Hey, well, what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't have everything. And I'm telling you, that'll spark y'all up, dude. I'm oh, telling you. Jesus. No, I'm not lying to you, man. I'm telling you. We're talking animal stuff here. We're not talking. Let's get socially. Let's, let's Vinny, clear you're our taking minds. notes over there or what? I'm listening. I'm going to try and sell let's this to my Let's clear our tonight. minds socially, man. Let's just clear the social contract. <laughs> let's talk about animal. Let's talk about what you feel, man. I don't know what you feel, but whatever what you feel, you, you, you just aren't into her. And, you know, you're a good guy, and you love her, but you're, you're questioning yourself. You're going, why? You know what? I'm going to tell you why I feel like this now. Because for the last month, it's just been beefing, beefing, beefing. And last week, we got into a fight so bad that I locked out the house, and she had me committed for the night. 
You're done, dude. Yeah, get it. Get out of it. Yeah, it's no, over, Johnny. It's don't, over. Don't get out of it. This is your fault, dude. Cause it's your <laughs> fault because that's what they do. You have to guide them. You have to let them know anything crazy she does. You have to dismiss it with logic, man. You have to beat her down with logic. I'm telling you, man. Your 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 marriage isn't over. She's she's got some thing where girls get a little like I need excitement. Let me tell you something. Any emotion is an emotion for a woman. Hatred is the same thing as love for them. If a girl hates me, I know I can get her. Because I'll flip it over. It's yin and yang, Great. man. Flip yin your wife, yang. I'm Hate telling you. Hate is love, work is freedom. What? I love it all. Oh. Yeah, you, you. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Dude, don't give up, man. I'm telling you, man. J try that out, man. Because uh, let me tell you, she... He's got to throw this yeah. one back. That's she what I'm cannot... Saying. Yeah, you're uh, knocking people out of the house. Let me get tell you out. something. You're not going to fight... You're not going to find a woman who won't do that. You got to make every woman you with, you got to make her into your girl. Your woman, your woman, your wife is your wife, Vinny. Yeah, if yeah, she yeah. left you, she had to become someone else's wife. And I don't mean just I do. She has to know what makes you mad, what makes you happy. And she has to care about what makes you mad and what makes you happy. Mm -hmm. His wife doesn't care because she thinks he doesn't care. So she's doing dumb stuff for drama to get attention. And that's your fault because you started off like that. If you're going backwards, it's hard to turn around, man. But now you got to start turning around and you got to take a L. Patrice wants every guy out there to be a pimp. This is like wow. pimp mentality. But not hit your wife or put her on Avenue. So selling. what's he supposed to do now? She she start, Let's see. Here's an example. She walks up to him. And, uh, you know, what the hell do you do? You didn't vacuum the floor. This place is a man. You know, you, 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 blah, 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 blah. She's bitching. What's he supposed to do now after six years of taking that? Bring home a new girlfriend. For, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> what haven't you been listening to? Apparently. <laughs> what am I, stupid? I, I know. The answer was right in front of me. <laughs> Somebody wants to call your cult, Cult 45, by the way. Uh, <laughs> ah, that's a good one. <laughs> He doesn't have a name, but he did it from his cell phone Cold with the SMB back. Can I have that and, for the book? Cold oh, 45. Cold 45. And some girl from Austin. I watched my husband F two women on Saturday, and he still F'd me when he got home. This does happen in real life, and Patrice can get what he wants easily. Many couples we know have a girlfriend. Delicious. Uh, there was one more God bless. I to go to. God bless. Uh, it's a big world. A lot of people out there. A lot of people. Go to go to uh, adult friend finder. But, but, and oh, here tell me that. Go to wait. Go to pal talk on whatever lonely room and watch some broad somewhere taking her boobs out just to be loved. I've seen it on pal talk. Yeah. Mammy, right. Mammy Pelagroso. Let's go to Paul in Brooklyn. Paul. <laughs> hey, what's up? You got hey, people joining your hey, cult like crazy, by the way. Yeah, man. They're calling hey. in. Yeah, Paul. Hey, hey, he was talking about that place, La Trapeze. It's on 27th and 5th. I've been there. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Another soldier. He's got Another a soldier. Yeah. <laughs> He's got... <laughs> Paul, what's this place about? Hey, you know, the place is what it is. Just like he says, it's that you, you go there, you have to go in there with a woman, or if you're a single woman, you can get in. I'm yeah, married. no guys just walking in. Hey, I want to see somebody. Hey, well, hey. <laughs> I got nothing to trade. Yeah. <laughs> I want to pick someone up on waivers, if you don't mind. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you go in, you bring a chick. Right, but the deal is with me, I'm married, and the girl I go with is married. I know her husband. She knows my wife. So, but her and I get together, and we go there, and then we swap with other couples, and then we go back to our perspective for others, like, you know, whatever, and we just have a good time. It's hard to explain. But. It is. You got too many others in there. I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The okay, other here's, the, then... here's the one thing, though. Do, do, do your wife and his and her husband know? No, of course not. Oh, oh, so there's, then it's a little bit, so it's you a gotta... school, you're kind of cheating with each other. But here's the thing. Listen to this. Let, let's boil this down. Oh, All yeah, right. Let's boil this down. A girl that he, 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 he is cheating on his wife, and he still needs extra booty. <laughs> do, do you understand what I'm saying? Guys, wait, wait, are you sleeping with the other guy's wife? Uh, or are you just taking her out yeah, and swapping yeah. her? <laughs> yeah. Because you know why? Because he's a winner, and and this other woman's a winner. And they, they're with two people that goes, uh, his wife goes, uh, and his, and her husband goes, no. And they both went, ran into each other and went, hey, let's, uh, 
Let's do some crazy. Still not enough. Let's swap you know what else each other great? too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's go down there and swap, swap each other. He's just using it as swap. I can get a lot more for you than I can for my wife. Come on. <laughs> you know what I could get for you? <laughs> yeah. You know what else is great? Yeah. She loves other women too. Jeez, so she's, she's all over the world. place. Do you hear happiness? <laughs> Wait a minute. Time out. Do you hear? <clears throat> How elated this guy is to talk. He sounds like a straight lazy dude, right? Did you hear Mr. I love my wife, 17 years, four kids? He sounded like death warmed over. He sounded like he was praying for cancer. He, was like, <laughs> he sounded like he was practicing to have cancer. <laughs> Night of the living dead. I love my wife. <laughs> four kids. And everybody throws their four kids and everything. Like that's, like that's the validation for your misery this dude's like dude i'm cheating on my wife i, I love it i love my my best friend what and we're swinging out of the swingers club this, he's happy to, to oh. get this out it's it was like a sickness on his soul he gets to <laughs> say it and not be judged because i'm in his corner go get him tiger all right thank you paul all right later guys yeah we got to take another break maybe we'll get into some other things amazing hey steve lyons got fired you know yeah. what that's about? We'll talk about that yeah, after the break. Did he get fired, fired, or did he get fired from just doing the... Uh, well, he, and we'll get into I, it after the break. It's pretty interesting. Fired. And uh, Rita Crosby's interview from... This is left over from... It's Rita Crosby. You got her audio. Rita Crosby. <laughs> from MSNBC. MSNBC. <laughs> Join me, Rita Crosby. I talk about nothing because I can't talk. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with her? I constantly have a sore throat. Jesus. Does anyone have a lawsuit? I'm a talk show host. How ironic is this? I can't even talk. That's hysterical. Well, she interviewed Screech. She interviewed Screech. Isn't that ironic, too? <laughs> and a little observation. Some people out there will get it. Uh, how many people uh, tell you, Vinny, you sound just like the father from uh, Little People, Big World? Uh, yeah, I hear oh, I didn't I hear that. Sound like somebody. I haven't watched that show I, yet. Have any, anyone come up to you yet? The show's uh, starting to take off. Uh, yeah, I The get Midget up. Family. It's a reality show with a midget family. Actually, the, the, the mm -hmm. husband and wife are midgets, and they had one midget and three uh, normal. Three? three normal kids, yeah. right? Or two. Three, three, yeah. That's got to be hard to disappoint your children. But you oh, <laughs> I know. Towering over you. <laughs> but you sound just like the father. Just like the father on that show, Little People, Big World. Yeah, the mom gets, she's four foot tall and her, and her son's already like six foot. And she's yelling at him. And, yeah, yeah, what are you going to do? Be hard. I'll dribble you like a basketball. <laughs> yeah, Mom, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? <laughs> uh, All right, it's the only virus. big head and thrower. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh. Spreading across America.